Hi guys, we're gonna talk about our daily expectations for distance learning. Here we go. So first what you need to do is you need to log in and follow your schedule. Now I made a video yesterday that I wanted you guys to work on your virtual classroom instead of just going onto Google Classroom and clicking through all the assignments because you're gonna miss a lot of videos and fun stuff. Um, also make sure that you're completing your activities by the due date. We don't wanna accept any late work because you guys have a lot of time to be working on things. You need to establish a good workspace at home. So that means you don't need to have anybody walking behind you or have anything distracting, no pets in the area, no siblings. Make sure that it's a good learning environment for you. Be sure that you're following the set of norms and expectations established by your teachers. So I don't know if you guys saw that norms video, but me, I was falling asleep. I was wearing my pajamas. Mrs. Rosowski was eating her food. So we wanna make sure that we are acting like we are in school, even though we're not in the four walls of school, we still need to pretend like we are. You also want to interact virtually with me and interact virtually with other students in your class. So if we're in a Zoom meeting all together, then I want you guys to be working together and talking and collaborating, okay? Next, we're going to talk about what is a responsibility. So a responsibility is something that you are expected to do, like distance learning. That's something that we expect you guys to do. A responsibility might take a task, might be a task that you are expected to do. So for example, your parents expect you to brush your teeth and brushing your teeth is a responsibility. It is your responsibility to brush your teeth every day. Another example would be your teacher expects you to finish your assignments on time and do your best job. So it's your responsibility to do your assignments. And just like on the last slide, it is your responsibility to make sure that you are logging in every day and following the schedule that your teachers have set out for you. A responsibility might also be a way that you are expected to act. So your parents expect that if you go to play at the park, you will play in a way that won't hurt yourself or someone else. It's your responsibility to have fun in a safe and courteous way. Another example would be when you attend a Zoom meeting, your teacher expects you to follow the meeting norms. It's your responsibility to participate and show respect for others. So you don't want to be talking to somebody else that's in your room. You don't want to be looking around or playing around or using things in your room to distract other people because that's not very responsible. And finally, what is a consequence? A consequence is the result or outcome of our actions. So consequences can be good or consequences can be negative, which is not good, all right? So in our class, we're gonna be using Class Dojo. So if you guys are completing your work and maybe you do something awesome outside of school, then we are gonna give you guys dojos and that's a positive thing and we have rewards that are super cool. Or if you do something bad, you might lose dojos and then you won't be able to afford the reward with your dojo points. Here's a couple of examples of consequences. So if you are supposed to do your chores by Sunday at five and you get them done, your parents are happy with you. That's a positive consequence. If you leave your bike behind your dad's car and he doesn't see it and runs over it, the consequence of your action might be that your bike is ruined or your dad might be upset. Another example of a school consequence would be if you were supposed to complete all of your assignments in order, but you only turned in the ones you wanted to do, the consequence would be that your grades would go down, and that is a negative consequence. So why is it so important to be responsible? When we act responsibly or do the things we're responsible for doing, we have a positive consequence. So that means something good happens to us when we do something good. Number two, a consequence is what happens as a result of our actions. So whether you do something good or something bad, there's always going to be a consequence for it. And number three, when you are responsible, you have a positive outcome and you get the positive consequence for a job well done. So if you are completing your responsibilities and you are being a responsible fourth grader, then you are going to have something good happen to you as a consequence, whether it's your teacher is happy, your parents are happy, 
or you just feel good about yourself, okay? So I wanna make sure that everybody is doing their job. I came to work today, I'm doing my job. I want you to come to school every day and I want you to do your job and we will both be responsible and hold each other accountable and we will have a great school year.